Hi everyone, welcome to your Holiday Alchemy Scope. You are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone. So let's take a look at the macro cycle, the energy set or the story that's imbuing the field for all of us at this time. The new moon in Sagittarius occurred on December 11th and it occurred at 19 degrees Sagittarius. The Sabian symbol that is aligned with that degree point is in an old-fashioned northern village, men cut the ice of a frozen pond for use during the summer. I love this symbol because for me what this is talking about is preparation. It's an optimistic view and a preparation for the future ahead, brighter days ahead. Now, if we move on to the Christmas full moon, I added that to this scope because I'm posting these late. It's a fascinating one. It's very appropriate for the astrological events that are aligned. A cat arguing with a mouse is going to be the Sabian symbol that is imbued at the full moon point of three degrees Cancer on Christmas Day. And interestingly, there is an opposition on Christmas Day between Mars in Libra, which is relationships, and Uranus in Aries, which is I, me, mine. So this is going to be an interesting dynamic between um, action of harmony in relationships and the sudden impetus for action of the self. And a lot of people are gathering with family over the course of this holiday season so and particularly on this day so let's hold it all lightly and understand that there's a bigger cycle playing out and there's a way to um, be responsible for our own thoughts and own actions as we navigate um, this dynamic a cat arguing with a mouse christmas day Aries, let's take a look at your I Ching micro cycle. This is the energy set for you during this particular chapter of time. You received the I Ching hexagram number 44 liaison. And the two trigrams that make up this hexagram are sky above, wind below. The attraction is strong, however be mindful, as disparate forces may not be what they seem. When power shifts into the hands of those unprepared for it, harm comes to all parties. Still, you need not fear meetings with those whose positions are widely different from your own, so long as you know you are free of ulterior motives. As soon as a liaison presents itself, that is the time to speak up. On the other hand, there are times when the meeting of the yielding and the strong turn out to have been opportunities for truly positive and constructive relationships. The difference between careless connection and a relationship of depth lies in the motives of the heart. Aries, welcome to your holiday alchemy scope. So let's get started. Um, this view, you can see if you've tuned in before, this view is a little bit different. It's lower, so it's going to be a different skew on the cards. It's going to be a little more angled and with the, because I'm doing this at night with candlelight and with the Christmas tree lights, there's going to be reflection. Um, just go with the flow a little bit. I'll lift up the cards so you'll see them, but I wanted to provide a little bit more of a holiday feel. I wanted this to be a bit more atmospheric for this reading, for this, during this holiday cycle. Um, most likely in January, we'll go back to the other angle, okay? 
So I've already shuffled. I'm using my Siri deck again, and we'll do a synchronic spread once again this month. Um, we are going to pull the archetypes, Carolyn Miss archetypes, and I'm going to have you select as we've done the last two cycles. And I have a beautiful new deck, fabulous new deck. This is uh, Colette Baron Reed's The Enchanted Map. And I'm going to pull the guidance for you from that. So instead of the Ascended Masters, we'll, we're going to do that. So let's start pulling. We'll see what's coming up. Aries for you. Okay, interesting. All right, let's take a look. Now, this is not going to be unusual because it's the holiday season, but the center issue is about seeing someone. And you're going to be cautious. So let me go ahead and read it first, yeah, and then I'll show you the cards. And as you know, if you've tuned in before, I'm flipping over the reversals because they're not really reversals. They're, uh, they're providing more information for each sector. So let's see if you can see all of them. A little bit, a little bit, but I'll lift them up. Aries, okay. Again, not unusual at all. So what I, what I asked is, you know, what event, circumstance, or situation is likely to be coming forward for the majority of Aries-centric scope people, and essentially seeing someone came up. Again, not unusual. This is the holiday season. There's going to be a lot of people seeing each other. This is spelled wrong, by the way. People keep telling me that there's an L missing. This is my own deck. I created it. I'm aware that there's a spelling error on it. Um, so... Yeah, you're going to be seeing somebody, but the person, the person that you're going to be seeing is coming from far away. It could actually be somebody coming from overseas. And you're going to be, I don't know, you're going to be in a state of questioning. So your thoughts are going to be curious or questioning. And actually, you're not going to be feeling necessarily comfortable with this person. So you're going to be in a state of wariness, like you're going to not, you're going to be uncertain about maybe why they're connecting with you, what they want, um, and the truth of it, like you're, you're cautious, the beware card is about caution, so you're going to be cautious about what is the real truth around them showing up, maybe, something like that. Um, and it could be, Aries, that for some of you, you're going to feel that you, maybe you thought something, maybe you knew this person was going to come into town and you expected to see this person, but maybe something doesn't emerge. So it could be that you you're expecting something delicious to happen. For example, you might know that somebody's coming into town and you're having an expectation that something is going to happen, but less emerges. Something less than you expect happens. And I will tell you that there's thunder happening right now outside, so it's always important to be mindful about, you know, the atmosphere, what's going on with what's being said, okay? But emotionally, you're going to be kind of discovering or feeling or uncovering the fact that something's not happening that you thought would be happening with this visitor, with this person that you thought you would see. And it could be that you thought you'd just see a lot of them and it would be delicious and that's just not happening. So then you're feeling a sense of caution, like, what's the truth of it? You know, why, why did they even make contact if they're not going to connect? Something like that. I'm trying to see if there's anything else here. Yeah. 
you might feel like, you know, that they're wanting something else from you, that there's some other reason for them reaching out to you. So let's see. I mean, we might have more to with the archetype cards that come up and certainly with the with the um, Colette Baron Reed deck. So let's take a look. That was a pretty simple spread. And again, a lot of people are going to be seeing people. But again, this is somebody from far away and it could very well be somebody from overseas. So that will narrow it down for a lot of you. So let's go ahead and pull the archetype cards. Um, this is Carolyn Mrs. Deck, and we're going to pull three. I'm going to pull three for you. And we'll have you tune in and see which one you're drawn to. And that will be your main, this one wants to come, that'll be your main growth edge for you, This the main thing that wants to be matured within you this month. So let's see, four Aries, what else wants to so Aries. lovely so tune in tune into one of these cards see which one is highlighted for you and that is your card okay all right so this beauty is the colette baron reed um, enchanted map deck and we're gonna see what card, what main guidance is coming up for you during this cycle of the Sag to the Cap New Moons? That's the one. Beautiful. Okay, Aries. Okay, so we have a reversal. Movement. So the card movement came up in reverse. So I'm going to read it here, okay? So let's put that there. And this is, let's see, this is number 28. So she does work with numbers. So 28, 2 and 8 is 10, 1 and 0 is 1. So it's a movement of initiation. It is indeed a, a card of movement, so it makes sense. So let's see here. Okay, so movement, Aries. So this is the main guidance for you. You are in a time of positive forward motion. That's the main meaning for the card. In the reversed, do you feel as if you're walking in circles, seemingly not getting anywhere? Consider the spiral that travels up and around. Two steps forward, five steps back. Even backward movement helps you progress and reach your goal. You may need to revisit some of the places where you forgot to look for treasure. Another message is this. Lessons need repeating for those who refuse. Hold on. Sorry, I have to turn the page here. Let me finish reading this. It's just a couple sentences. So another message is this. Lessons need repeating for those who refuse or are unable to learn them in the first place. Consider this another invitation to mastery. So again, do you feel as if you're walking in circles? Seemingly not getting anywhere. Consider the spiral that travels up and around. Two steps forward, five steps back. Even backward movements help you progress and reach your goal. You may need to revisit some of the places where you forgot to look for treasure. The reason why this is interesting for me is because of the central car, or excuse me, because of the reading that we had 
and the faraway lands card that came up. So it could be for some of you out there that the reflection card is about seeing yourself often most often that card is referring about seeing a person but it could be about memories of faraway lands for some of you because the faraway lands card did come up in the thought sector so it could be that you're thinking about yourself in the past when you were in faraway lands and maybe there were things there that you're supposed to think about now and it's about movement so it might be Aries that for some of you it does feel like you're going back in memories a little bit during this cycle and it's engaging for you areas of life that you enjoyed and maybe want to instigate again so that for example that might be the feeling of going back so this could be you're not going backwards you know like you might be thinking about things and going how far have i come really but the movement card reversed is about you're always progressing even if you feel like you're going backwards you're always moving forward i mean and she she kind of referred to it there two steps forward five steps back but really you look at any dance the tango or any kind of a dance where there's these movements that seemingly go side to side or go backwards but there's always a spiraled evolution forward of the story of the dance it's just like that with life so the guidance for you is movement reversed you're not going backwards you're not stuck you are moving things are moving you might just be needing to review things at this time and again for some of you out there you might be thinking about faraway lands someplace that you went to in your past or some life that you were living in the past maybe far away that is bringing up issues for you now where you're reflecting upon yourself you're reflecting about your life thinking how far have I come or I want that and now I'm here and it feels like you're going backwards but you're not you're not okay Aries so let's move on to the archetypal cards okay if you pulled the far left card you received monk nun now this is about this is about um, moving out of negative judgment of the physical world and excess piety and evolving it into selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to spirit so this is about really connecting with your spiritual practices your connection to spirit it could be that meditation is really calling you now if you've received some intuitive pulls to meditate it would be a very very good thing to do it during this time frame beautiful so let's pull up the second card here and this is child magical beautiful so let's take a look here so if you pick the center card Aries this is about moving out of pessimism depression and disbelief in miracles and the belief that energy and action are not required for growth and evolving it into seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things the belief that everything is possible pure potentiality this is about becoming childlike again beautiful love that and if you pick the oh my gosh poet comes up again so poet is wanting to come up so far during this holiday scope session so poet Aries if you picked a uh, poet the lower frequency what wants to be evolved out of is turning lyric gifts into negative or destructive effect and moving it into 
expressing soul insights in symbolic language. Gorgeous. All right, Aries. Beautiful. So let's move on and see what else we have for you this month. Aries, we are now at the final component of your alchemy scope, and here we come to the Dakini. I pull up the Dakini goddess to uh, bring forward which embodiment, who are you to become to optimally flow through this chapter of time. You received number 37, Protectress. Again, I'm using Penny Slinger's 64 Dakini Oracle. She has a fiery, wrathful nature, protecting the ground the mandala represents by enclosing the inner light of the heart with fire. Let me read two things from you to you from Penny Slinger's um, description of Protectress. One is the transmission, and the other is the affirmation. Aries, the transmission for you for Protectress is this. I am here to protect you from your enemies, from yourself, from the things that hold you back, from the things you deny. I am here to protect what I hold dear, your heart's essence, wherein lies truth. The affirmation for Protectress Aries is this, I am protected. I am protected. I am protected. I am safe. In the circle of truth, the circle of fire, there is nothing that separates me from the truth and nothing can take that from me. I am protected, I am protected, I am protected, I am safe. In the circle of truth, the circle of fire, there is nothing that separates me from the truth and nothing can take that from me. I wish you a beautiful month and holidays, Aries. Look for more goodies from me soon. Lots of love.